Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Panzer General 2 and here we are in the thick of the Scandinavian campaign up in the northern Europe after the winter war has sort of wrapped up for my guy uh, General Eckenhell I'm sure this picture is from um, some I don't know some famous general maybe Rommel I'm not so sure but in the last campaign the Finnish leaders, the picture was basically uh, of a German soldier but no matter, I mean he's General Ekenel and you can rename him if you want but uh, this is the name I got so it's kind of uh, interesting to see whether his career will develop whether a single loss on his resume would uh, mean that he'll be terminated a lot of other generals or budding generals are waiting in the wings or something so now we are in Norway and already have taken Oslo and the Norwegian defensive forces had regrouped after the initial shock of uh, trying to fending off or trying to even organize an ordered retreat against the German Bricks Creek, which happened before they could get anything uh, in terms of material and manpower from the Allies, uh, Britain and France. And now they are sort of trying to buy enough time, I guess, for the king and then the, the intelligentsia of the Norwegian political circles to escape to United Kingdom. Uh, this has happened successfully enough that they were able to basically form a government in exile in United Kingdom while the Germans was trying very hard to legitimize their you know, sanctioned government in Norway uh, headed by none other than Wittgen Kriesling uh, who is now synonymous, whose name is now synonymous with the uh, term traitor. The uh, name basically, at least in the English terms, seems to have been ready made for such purpose. And I guess my purpose right now is to keep the pressure on and try to claim a key strategic supply point that are still held by the British and the Norwegian forces, the remaining Norwegian forces. But let's upgrade this tank first. And after upgrading and let's see if I can over overcharge it which is basically um, increasing the strength of this unit beyond normal allotment of 10 um, so let's see let's upgrade this Panzer 2A to about 4D uh, Strostruppen is uh, I'm not so sure but they're probably the, the kind of unit that falls between the regular troops and the engineers, so they're more of a versatile leader group unit. Jaeger are the hunters. Ah, so Strostruppen is also anti-armor unit. Jaeger unit is strictly, I guess, against infantry. Uh, I think I bring in a couple, or one. This is a yeah, very big deployment circle. And let's check out the strategic map first. Oh my lord. So there are different Norwegian towns um, that you can take using the recon if there's basically no resistance along this road, but uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, the main road from uh, here, I'm kind of guessing that uh, it will be very heavily defended here. Uh, which I believe to be um, yeah there's a choke point here and also there's a mountainous region that could be aligned with uh, artilleries and other nasty business uh, and of course this is all snow covered so there will be some mobility penalties and unlike Finland who was supposed to be our allies in the last scenario the Norwegians are full on probably winterized and um, supported by the British, but I see no British flag, so probably this is just the um, native Norway troops that we're facing. Of course, the bombers will be stationed. Two of them. And from here, there will be the bulwark of my forces. Well, it seems like I had to take advantage of the deployment of squares when you first appeared. I think some of them have disappeared. Oh, lost for us. We probably have uh, some sort of uh, supremacy 
in terms of air unit. Let's see. Volume 5 and Veteran Force 2. Okay. Alright, so we have move all our forces. Lillehammer. Hey, is this where they actually held Olympics? Okay, well. Interesting. Well. Let's move up. Oh, this artillery. What? It's a leader called Antiman. Oh, great. Nice. Reconnaissance movement. Great. Okay. And also skilled assault. Wow, this is a unit that I really need to take care of. Yeah, well moved. That's the reason. Okay, so there'll be some firefight in the next turn. Um, as for these guys are uh, concerned, um, not too worried of uh, facing. I'm, I'm sure there will be some um, stiff resistance along this road. I will not venture any further from here, lest I be ambushed. It should be pretty bad, to say the least. Because we know what happened to those uh, first Finnish troops. I ordered foolishly attack or take over the vicinity of the first objective town. He was ambushed right away and was promptly destroyed, uh, which is uh, yeah something that I would never want to face ever again. Um, wait a second. Why can't it not fire? Let's see. Is that a support? Oh, rain, so that's why. Okay. If it's not a perfect weather, then the bombers cannot do anything. Which is uh, pretty unfortunate. What will they attack? Yeah, they will attack. The over strength unit has suffered some damage. Oh, wow, okay, so. They sort of. Interesting. So they're kind of having order retreat. Oh my goodness, surprise, of course. Oh, it wasn't uh, outright destroyed. It wasn't, but uh, yeah, that present just with a new wrinkle. So the regions are defending pretty well. And if we had the bridge troops, then we can. Do we have enough? Recusion point to bring in a breaching unit. No, we don't. Well, let's move up into the forest, and there are some troops. Yeah, the recon unit did its job that I will not be able to actually move up um, and take these towns nearly really like I did in Poland. I mean, I'm sure that the Polish were able to, you know, defend every town that they had, but then it was just the second mission in the campaign, so I know that the designers were letting me off the hook a bit, uh, you know, kind of taking things easy. Ah, great. I don't know, what the heck I'm doing? Wow. Why is this plane able to fly? Maybe this is because uh, it is a reconnaissance feature. Yeah, now we cannot move, so... Yeah, they don't really tell you what kind of uh, unit capabilities this entails, but they just found out that you can move multiple directions multiple times. So, yeah, that's good to know, but uh, not like this. These guys will move up, probably. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A lot of troubles. In this two exchanges. Uh... Alright. Replace. Eight. Decent. So stripling Pioneer. Very important unit. Without over strengthenment, uh, this unit would have been just destroyed, which is just terrible consequence. Um, yeah. 
at this artillery nearby. I really need to take care of the artillery in the air power, but I came out of the exchange pretty well. Yeah, fire until you are running out of ammo. Believe or see. Let's see if I can. Yeah, alright, good. They have an airfield here. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Noble Strengthened Panzer is now at the front steps of this uh, town called Gyevik. It's artillery, the flak. Okay. I don't really see any air unit yet. Okay. I hope the next turn is going to be full at least a bit better for us. Oh, the Norwegian plane. Okay, that was a lucky shot. Yeah, let's try to make it three in a row. A lucky shot. Yes. 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 Great. Now, the flag is going to come here because I know that there will be a plane coming, Norwegian plane coming from this side. Now, the recon unit. Replaced. And it's going to probably travel, bypass this town. I'm going to try to capture it by using a maneuver around the troop here, defending it, defending the road to it, because it can move uh, pretty well. And here is still a bit of a quagmire. Where's my pioneer? Okay, pioneer can probably attack them again. Yeah, even strength. Nice, nice. And over strengthened Panzer can wreck some havoc next turn. Oh, this turn too. Alright. Okay, good, good, good development. And the uh, artillery can bring up in the rear on the bridge. Okay, so let's end the turn. Five turns left, huh? Still fighting pretty hard. Yeah, Pioneer has been attacked multiple times and has been on the verge of complete rout uh, two times already. The weather is... I'm um, sorry, I'm not just paying attention. Bear! So I, which means I can attack these guys, but they seem to be running away. And this is the Spitfire. Oh my goodness, Spitfire making an appearance. Royal Air Force, devastating against air. Devastating against air. Devastating. Okay, so. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. My bombers, take notice. They're in for some uh, craziness. Ah, oh, why did I move there? And I'm sure that Zigrid. Attract this uh, Spitfire, which will be something that I would not mind at all. Regular. Well, regulars can probably support the armor. Now the Panzer can make a move, so the logjam has been lifted somewhat. So this is a Stostropin, right? And then, um, just drop in, destroy this plane Norwegian forces. Good. Destroy it. Uh, I'm kind of worried about Slip Fire here. I made a mistake of, uh, man, I really need to take care of my air unit. Uh, my control the air unit because it's all over the place. Here, it's much fair. Um, Hopefully, uh, it's, it's not going to cost me much harm. Because uh, right now I'm. Uh, oh my goodness, way. Well, I guess. Yeah, I really need to control my unit. But at least. 
Elise is playing the leader unit over strength and playing Ruby out of the range of the Spitfire for this turn, so I guess it's just Silver Lightning. Yeah, this unit has to be replaced. Uh, and the Stustrupen will fully go where no German forces yet have gone. Wow. Wow. I'm out of requisition points, everybody. Hmm, Jaeger. They're hunters. Rugged defense. Uh oh. Uh, well, it was not too bad. I mean, it would have destroyed them outright if it were not for the rugged defense in the mountains. But next turn, I'll be hopefully in the same situation as them. Four turns left, wow, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it, because uh, that fortification unit is supposedly very high value target. Yeah, the point is to try to take away any airfield that the Norwegians might have while well, they have another one here, which is uh, where I'm going, because I don't want that Spitfire to be operational. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's going to give the regular guys a bit of a experience point by capturing this airfield for us, and I can resupply, which is the most important thing here, and also gain some requisition points. I believe 131. Norwegian infantry. Already fired. Oh my goodness, overrun attack. This Panzer is on a roll. When I imagined Blitzkrieg, this is just what I had envisioned. Thanks for rolling over troops. Like two troops in a single turn. Yeah, this is just as I imagined. The Panzer Hunter has spent all the fuel and not have anything to show for it. Maybe it's going to serve as another delicious target for this Spitfire. Let's try and just try to park it here and then try to draw the attention away from my bomber. Stroh Struppen is going to... Well, maybe if they have enough fuel, they don't have any enough fuel. Okay, so let's apply. Ah, three turns. I don't think it'll be enough. Wow, surprising the Spitfire is not going after my bombers. My recon unit is in danger. Yeah, I see some... Um, a little bit of movement up on the mountains. Yeah, no need to... Uh, no need to be rash with unit lurking about in the mountains. Probably that's what happened, the Norwegians... Like, you know, some of the troops crossed the mountains and very treacherous conditions uh, into Sweden to escape the German clutches and also probably hid in the mountains as well as partisans and fought and resisted the German occupation well, that's what happened a lot of mountains in Norway wow we can jump really fast even on the snowy conditions yeah, this unit have to be supplied maybe I wasted my turn ooh star Vas. Now, this is the leader portrait for, I guess, uh, infantry because this was used for the Finnish leader as well, uh, Sissi. I probably remember his name for the rest of this campaign and, um, yeah, and beyond. This is uh, the portrait of a German officer, it seems. You know, the eagle here and the head seems to be from a German officer portrait, but I don't know. If the Red Army leader has the same portrait, that's going to be a uh, Pretty hilarious. I'm kind of uh, afraid of seeing my unit here be overstretched, but that's the gamble that I'm willing to make. Two ammo left, okay, wow. Even without ammo, this guy can serve as a very variable recon unit. Air transport available one. Hey, what do you know? Air transport, huh? Alright. And uh, 
transport my troops. If I take this airfield, then I can transport my most valuable troop, the Zig, from the airfield here to here. Which I should have done a few turns ago, or thought about it at least. Alright, I hope victory is still within our reach. Uh oh. Where is that Norwegian troop? Oof. Tenacious defense. Hmm, this guy can, well, I mean, these guys are the cavalry, they can move fast, right? Alright, let's move into the forest, and... Wow, it's going to be a disaster if I attack, I really need to be careful with my mouse. Yeah, I'm not trying to click you guys, I'm trying to click this unit, yes. Yeah, I need my artillery, quick. I don't ah Hey, maybe I can check where the Oh I can check where the Norwegian unit is here. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack. Um We need to be moving. My flag has been bogged. My panzer need to move. Right now. Uh, this is the air unit, no? Okay, let's choose air unit. Let's see what kind of defense that they have. Oh my lord. Well, I can take care of this town though. Which is good. And your 4C can also travel a good distance. Do any of these need any supply? Well, no, the speed that is of the essence. And I'm kind of kicking a gamble here. And uh, these guys go for Rena, the most lonely town in this map. Last turn. Ah. Over strengthened. And the leader. With a riffing. Oh boy. Alright, so what to do with this leader unit? 5 out of 11. They're British. Oh, hey, a new portrait. Everhart. Tenacious defense, of course, and influence. Influence, I guess, makes other units around this particular unit better. Um, can I attack? Why? Why? Rain. Yeah, it's gonna melt some snow, I guess. I don't care about. Well, this regular truce will draw a lot of. Okay. Even fight. I really need to make sure that I am going to destroy Mr. Tenacious Defense here. Next turn, I'm going to be in a pretty dangerous situation because I'm exposed. This R3 is going to be exposed. So uh, I'm not going to move this unit yet. I'm going to see if I can move my best tank and just surround this pesky British guy and drag him out. This will be another attempt. Or, but I mean, you're still stripping. Yeah, drive him out. Drive him out. Oh my goodness. Alright. Pioneer. Can you do anything? Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm not really doing the most optimal job. 
right now. At least the... Oh my goodness, critical hit. And their entrenchment has been reduced to almost nothing. Let's see if, uh, yeah, we can still pressure them I mean, with plenty of ammo, right? Just waiting for my bomber to resupply itself. No, didn't work out well. Oh, where did this Norwegian unit go? Yeah, order. Pressure them. Come on, man, you can take it. The press. Okay, finally. Take it. Oh, surprisingly enough, they have not moved. Huh. Well, thank you very much. Regular troops cannot do anything, but Strippen may be able to do something. Okay. The old grizzled veterans now. Uh, yeah, just uh, trying to use this tank against the path of least and resistance. Can they attack the troops as well? They can. They're not being as effective. Yeah, not as effective. Overrun, good. This is uh, what I want. Yeah, they all fired. Wow, this... This... Everhart is not kidding around. Alright, so this uh, bomber has not been touched yet, surprisingly enough. Cannot attack due to rain. Yeah, by next turn, going to be some bomber action on uh, both branch, hopefully. Already fired, but can move up so that uh, the leader unit is in range and my recon unit can. Take over this town. This unit. I have enough to bring in a couple replacements. Uh, right now I'm all out, it seems. And should I attack these guys? No, I should probably attack. Should I keep the pressure up on the Norwegians? I don't know if the British should be able to resupply this. This unit seems a bit expensive. Well, they're aggressive, so they're not expensive at all. Oh well, decisions have been made, and I have to live with it. Oh, they can move further. Maybe they can actually uh, go into the next campaign or something. Um, yeah, replace. I need to upgrade that unit before long, preferably in the next campaign. Next scenario. Two turns for victory. Ah, they took my. Of course, of course. I'll get defense, yeah. Alright. There are wrinkles now. Surprised! I didn't click the hex. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, these Norwegians. They're sneaky. Sneaky Norwegians. My bombers, where are they? Disaster. Soften them up a bit. Wow. Please. Ah, oh, still raining. Okay. Take care of that. Thing. The British. I'm in. Okay. Hmm. These guys can maybe move here. And while our troops here pin down this leader unit, move it up. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this unit can stay. Oh boy. 
Oh my goodness, this is bad. Yeah. Ah, oh, safe, but... Yeah, alright, you... Run away as far as you can. I don't know if I can... More Norwegian troops. What is going on here? Yeah, I've been clearly bested by the Norwegians. Oh boy, this is bad. You learn things every day. I should have kept that supply point defended. Oh man, this is bad. Two turns. Impossible. Yeah. Ouch. Jaeger unit done. Jaeger unit has been done by bomber is hurting. 4 out of 10. That is the power of Spitfire. Oh my god. Where is this Norwegian troops coming from? Yeah, I lost this mission. Yeah, completely. Screwed it up. Yeah, my goodness. Yeah, I have to hand it to the AI. I was uh, completely bested. No. Uh, completely bested. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Complete, complete route. Next is lost. Okay. Failed miserably. With the loss of our surface fleet, England remains dominant on the high seas. Report for reassignment immediately. Well, I was uh, able to actually escape with my life intact. But it seems, um, yeah, something's not right. You know, blood and rust and, oh my goodness, picture frame. And on the server, she dropped into the front in the game title screen. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Suffer a terrible loss, and they yeah, are probably to come back and try this once more. Oh well, that's the beauty of this game, I guess. Uh, at least I know what to expect. Assessment? Uh, well, I was not able to defend my supply point and uh, completely fold um, while the Norwegians were just fighting their time, and uh, with my recon unit, you know, just just going about its way, um, trying to capture the supply point for that. Uh, you know, tasty, tasty, uh, what is it called, uh, requisition points, yeah. Uh, I was just completely full, and the AI bested me. And yeah, that's something that I need to get used to, I guess, in the further uh, campaign. So, yeah, thanks for joining me, and I come back and show you with the Redux version of uh, what went down, because, you know, I can help. He has reassigned, obviously, and his picture frame has been broken, maybe, some to death duty, and, uh, I don't know, in Finland or something, I don't know where they think that he might have some success against Red Army because he has more experience or something. But as far as this game is concerned, this let's play uh, is concerned, there has been a bit of a snag. But I come back and see you uh, next time and um, you know, try to win the day for the Germans against Norwegians. But Norwegians have done terrifically uh, with the help of Spitfire and some British uh, commandos. And yeah. Uh, they have been, um, they've proven to be a worthy adversary. Alright, uh, see you next time, and uh, until then, please stay tuned. Welcome back everyone to Pender General 2 and yeah something very interesting happened last time and the General Ekin Hell was basically ransacked because he was not able to show his competency uh, ordering his troops in Norway. 
and the second leg of the, his journey in Scandinavia didn't end too well. Yeah, so if I were to continue in the campaign, right, I probably will have to control a new character and basically have to go through all that. And, you know, I just want to just get on with the campaign and not have to start over. And I think that, you know, most of you would uh, think the same, would agree with me. I'm kind of thinking about sort of changing the makeup of our core unit. And I believe that I have a lot of use for not only infantry, but also a plane. So let's requisition a fighter. And this fighter is going to be escorting our bomber groups. And although it's really expensive to fill the working air force, you know, fighter is definitely a invaluable in terms of this particular scenario at least because there's no other supporting air unit that could help conduct bombing operations or bombing raids successfully. Yeah, I just kind of want to over strengthen one of my tank units if I can. I think I can do it. Or C. Yeah, let's over strengthen this guy. Not this. This. Yeah, we're strengthening this guy too. Okay. Sure. And all right, over strengthen everybody. Hmm. Yeah, I used to have a leader in one of the bombers, but uh, yeah, I probably gained a leader while in the battlefield, which is pretty cool. Very spontaneous. Alright, so I think this is the best I can do in terms of, uh, you know, troop deployment. 10 turns, so let's see if uh, I'm able to do this better than last time. So, there are some units stationed here I need to defend against. While the rest of the troops will move up and capture this airfield. While I do the same here. Now the thing is that I can actually make a use of transport, air transport. And while defending the position here and basically fending up the troops, I can then maybe make use of the airfield maybe here or the newly captured one here to bring up, try to surround this final objective of Lillehammer. So the starting city is um, clear. No, it's not uh, actually. It's just a supply point, I guess. Doesn't. Oh. Which is Yosa Lake. So two towns and two airfields. Now I understand a bit better. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I went into a requisition unit. Um, I don't know why. This actually gave me a lot of handicap uh, from the beginning because if I use a deployment spot here, then I could have just uh, saved a couple of turns uh, where I just moved up my unit from the from the map. But I went into, you know, the kitchen unit to see and try to just tweak a little bit of uh, my unit composition or something or, you know, just to see the, I don't know, it's just kind of foolish, but here you can tell that the Germans, the German high command is probably just telling, or just, you know, scenario designers, um, more or less, are telling me that I need to use this side of the lake uh, in order to mount uh, the biggest offensive. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's kind of interesting because um, kind of lightly defended here, so... Then I'd be able to basically uh, eliminate all chance of counterattack. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, concentrate. Since this is a fairly open field, uh, let's concentrate uh, these guys here. Since the Spitfire last time was uh, making its appearance on the left side of the map, I think its airfield was, uh, I think this was their airfield uh, they was using. But it was just making um, um, my life really difficult when it uh, started attacking my bombers and destroying them in two turns. Alright, let's begin. Let's see. Go up here and uh, 
course the bombers will do some recon work. And the Norwegians don't have any air force. You see that uh, it's ra right now raining, so no, I cannot do anything. That's the recon. Mr. Schmidt is going to join my bomber. I think he has a probably a bigger range operation. Yes, it does. Gonna rain down some Mr. Schmidt Luftwaffe fire uh, on the defending Norwegian troops. Avenger 2 is going to go up here and start firing over strengthened. It's kind of confident, uh, and then yeah, his confidence is or not. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty heavily defended. Oh, 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 sorry. The mouse has just traveled outside of the game. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, good. And the artillery is going to come up. Black, yeah. Black is going to defend my flank. Because I, I think the Spitfire is going to be attracted mildly to the appearance of the prototype unit, the Zig. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing that unit name correctly. Alright, so the first turn is over. Alright. Yeah. Wow, six. Interesting. Yeah, let's attack. Hmm, not bad, not bad. You can't attack. Alright. Next unit. to move up my own artillery and it's going to move up to where I want it to. I think it's going to stay behind while well, this also moves to flaunt its long range cannon. So. Alright, bring a victory in 9 turns. Yeah, keep attacking my tank. Hard or anything. Come on. Yeah, finally. Uh, yeah, it's kind of entrenched. Five. Let me reduce it by four. Okay. Damage is enough. Fire is going to move here and try to run critical hit. No. Over strength still over strength still stirping. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Alright. Rugged defense of course. Yeah. I was too enamored by the estimation of what the result is going to be. Regular trips. Okay. Alright, how about I use a tank to push it through? Yeah, finally. I can't attack them. No, still can't. 
Hmm, interesting. Are they some special troops? They're veteran troops. Alright. Yeah. Can my tank move in? They can. My Zig though. Uh, this is a flag. No, this is a recon unit. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be any good. Alright, I can probably use my regular unit to capture this point and move with my RP tank. Alright, I guess that kind of works. Okay, let's end the turn. 8 turns left for Burnham victory. Yeah, they're kind of falling back. Mm, trying to trick me once again. Well, that's not going to work this time. I know what your tricks are. the first town of Hamar and yeah rugged defense no more they're trading further into the mountains and the Jaeger is going to hunt them to the bitter end yeah basically eliminating any chance of them coming back to bite us in the behind whole glut of troops trying to defend this particular town. Oh, the Gryevik. Uh, seems that some of them had run away or tried to rally around this airfield where the Spitfire is. Uh, this unit is going to maybe um, retreat in the forest and let the, the powerful tank to take its place. And hope this going to overrun, yes. Yeah, it's going to destroy three units in one turn. No? Oh, okay. They're over strengthened though. And this artillery is going to finish it off. Okay, good. The recon unit is uh, finally free to do whatever it wants. Whole open road in front of it. And it has a pretty good range, so it was able to reveal the regular troops. Um. Yeah, air transport available, so we can, you know, we can, well, I think our troops in the, to the east is going to just move up in the airfield and try to take it, but if we feel like it, we can sort of divide our troops here um, and just bring some of them to the rear of Rillet Hammer. I think the infantry reverts to each fighting form, basically getting out of the transport when they get attacked. That's the one thing good about uh, the infantry. And if I want to attack this particular point with uh, with a bomber, I need my Master Schmidt guarding me. All right, seven turns left. All right, the things are going swimmingly. Oh my goodness! A wild Spitfire appears and. The ghost of Norwegian troops appears out of, uh, you know, some trees. And our regular troops did pretty well, uh, all things considered. Wow. Almost within the range. Yeah, okay, they're taking the airfield. I have to make sure that I'm able to refuel and resupply. Wow. That's cool. Attack. Overrun. Ah, I love this overrun ability of the upper strength and unit. Doesn't matter if it's entrenched or not, it's on fire right now. It's on fire.
Alright, just have to destroy one Spitfire. But Spitfire is uh, one of the greatest fire planes ever, ever constructed. So we really need to take a careful and guarded attention to any movement that it makes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's being protected right now by the by the Spitfire. Yeah, I need to be really I really need to bring my bring up my flag. Can you shoot? No, can't. Too bad. Well, it's twin. It's really entrenched, so there's basically no. Hey, wait a minute. Still attack. Yeah, it really didn't work. So anything to take away the supply point for the Spitfire, I'm all for it. Uh, maybe Spitfire is going to get distracted by this unit. All right, so Jaeger. Jaeger, Jaeger. Going to have replacement. And this tank and everything else is going to go up because they're high mobility. All filled up. Yeah. Probably the one of the reasons why I was not able to succeed in the last campaign. Well the last time I tried this campaign or scenario was because I did not rest to resupply my troops and replace the injured. Um, let's see if I can. Well, lightly entrenched. Okay, that was a bit of a rash move. What do they want? Oh, yeah. The regular truce. Is, is this a plane that they want us to control? Seems like it. Yeah. Okay, good, good. I almost forgot. They're suppressed, decreasing the chance of them attacking my um, exposed, not really exposed, they're in half track, but my artillery. Oh, they're not able to destroy it. Alright, let's end the turn and see what Spitfire can do in terms of damage. Yeah, and they're definitely being uh, interested. No, my recon unit, don't touch my recon unit, the bastards. It's going to. Ah, uh, boy. Let's see if the battle is going to engage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, black first. Air warfare in its finest. Okay. Can they attack now? Yeah, it's going to be a pretty pitched battle. It fires one of the marquee. Planes and uh, yeah, it was able to because of each veterancy. But if it attacks uh, my um, mess here, then it's going to come under fire from the flak. The bombing will commence in the airfield. My goodness. Yeah, he was overrun. Well, the Spitfire is engaged. Or um, no entrenchment. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we we'll keep attacking. Yeah, it's going to run over these troops. It's open field. These are just not a match for the tanks. Infantry is going to go on their merry way. Sting. Well clear out of the firefight here. The Norwegians are running. My plane is a clear sight on them. Yeah, I think the weather effects are random because I remember in the last time I tried this scenario, um, there was a string of pretty bad rainy days where I was not able to use my bombers to any effectiveness. And uh, that's probably why I got bogged down. Because Norwegians. Although they are kind of outgunned, they have a terrific defense rating. At least that's what I think so. Because they're able to hold out in this airfield. There's like a leader unit in the northern airfield. 
just outside of Lillehammer, which was able to withstand pounding after pounding from the German armor. The Jaeger is going to... Um, well, these guys are pretty good. A pioneer to capture the airfield, so... Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, let's move this light tank. Better than uh, moving my big hardware. Two shots left. Under the cover of air support. Pioneer is definitely needed elsewhere. Variable is uh, any infantry unit. Okay, so flag will stay put. Oh, doesn't go kaput. Oh my goodness, my mess is dead. What happened? Oh well, that's like 400 something down the drain. On the bright side, it gave. Uh, well, there's no bright side. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about the loss of the mess, my fire plane. I mean, it gave me the nickname and everything, but... Oh well. Ah, oh, man. Alright. Well, I captured this town, anyways. Let's see if uh, this can land a critical strike. No. Nope. Only suppressed. Okay, so before these guys can move, I... Especially the Spitfire, I really need to get a move on. And then maybe, uh... Hope to move my flag as close to my bombers as possible. Excuse me. Again, some problems with the mouse. And it crashed. My god. 